Hello everyone, this is Daida Qolami from Agmatov Research Company and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to make a checklist in Excel. So you can see I have listed my students' names and let's say I want to make an easy uh, checklist in order to check the presence of my students, in order to check at the box if they are present and uncheck them if they are absent so that's an easy example to show how to make that checklist in excel in order to do that you need to have the developer tab enabled so if you do not see the developer tab you go to file options customize ribbon and in main tabs you can see the developer in here okay you can see developer if you cannot see it it's unchecked so check it and then click ok so that you could see the developer tab in here so when you can see the developer tab in here you need to go to insert and then in form controls you go for checkbox you click on that in order to select that and then you draw your checkbox in the um, cells next to your list. So I draw my checkbox and then you can resize it and reshape it by these arrows in here. Okay, so also you can change the text in here. You could see it's written checkbox. If you do not want, for example, I do not want that, I can delete the text and then you can see it's empty. Okay, so it doesn't have any text and it just has this box in here. Then I want to center it. So let's select it again, resize, reshape and center it. Then what I want to do is to copy, of course, I want to copy this checkbox in all the cells. I do not need to go to insert again, draw it again. I just need to select the cell containing that checkbox and then in the green borders in the right down corner I click on that and then pull it down to all my cells. You could see that my checkbox is copied there. So that's uh, your check and that's your checklist ready to go. You can check them. You can uncheck them. Another another thing you can do is that you can link your checkbox to any other cell in order to um, fill the information of this checkbox in there. So maybe you want to count the number of um, present students or you want to count the number of absent students, etc. So what I will do is that I right click on the cell, go to format control. In format control window, you could see all these options in here. So in colors and lines, uh, you can feel this border. You know, you do not feel the, the checkbox itself. Okay. You can change the color of this border in here. You can change the transparency. You can change the line also, the border line. Okay, and then style, etc. Okay, so then in size, you can do the all things that I just did with these arrows in here. You could do that in the protection, you can make them locked, or um, you can lock the text, etc. And then in control tab is where I wanted to show you. In cell link, I can select the um, cell link, the the um, next the cell next to the checkbox. And then what will happen is that whenever I check that box it writes true i did not find any way to automatically link all these cells in one time in one action to the next cells what i found was manually 
doing that but i know that this is not logical when you're working with bigger uh, data sets i do not find the way if you have found be, please share with me in the comments section so that's how you work for that and then in here i can write a simple count f function in order to count absent students or present students so first i should select the range if the students are are um, present so you can see in here i have one present student and that's it so i guess that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also ring the bell in order to be aware whenever we post a new video so i see you in the next video and bye